Hi, I'm Mitch Gallagher. Welcome to Sweetwater Soundcheck. This time out, five new synthesizers in V Collection 5 from Arturia. Let's get started. The latest version of Arturia's V Collection, V Collection 5, brings together 17 different synthesizers. Five of those are brand new, and we're going to check those out in this video. Arturia's V Collection 5 offers a broad range of synthesizers ranging from vintage types all the way up to modern types, as well as additional keyboards. We have everything from Mini Mokes to Prophet 5s, the CS80 to the Oberheim SEM, lots and lots of different sonic choices there. But we're focusing on the five new synthesizers in V Collection 5, which were released recently. To begin, let's check out the B3 emulation, B3V. B3V includes all the features of a vintage Hammond B3, as well as a Leslie rotating speaker, a reverb, and five different effects pedals. We have overdrive, flanger, chorus, phaser, and analog delay available. We have full control over all of the Leslie features here, as well as the reverb. And if we click on that, we can call up a variety of different impulse responses that give us different reverb types. On the organ itself, we have all the standard controls, including nine drawbars per manual. For our demonstration today, I'm using an Arturia Keylab 49 keyboard. Now this has nine sliders that can be routed to control those drawbars. In addition, the rotary controls on the keyboard are mapped to control different controls inside the B3V. As with all of Arturia's virtual synths, we have additional features that are available to us with the click of a mouse. So if we select the down arrows here, it'll open up a new window that gives us access to envelopes, LFOs, a step sequencer, and more. All of the V Collection 5 synthesizers feature new preset management systems. We have several different ways we can select all the presets that come with the individual synthesizers. So for example, we can look at them using a browser. So we can select the different types by name, and then we can see the presets over here. We can also define the characteristics and add comments. This is a great way for organizing your preset library. We can also look at presets as different categories. So we have keyboard types here, leads, organs, pads. So the presets are sorted into these different categories, which makes them very easy to access. In addition, we can look at all the presets as a bank. We can just scroll through and choose the preset that we want. We can also choose to step through the presets individually. We have extensive control over all the parameters in the V Collection 5 synthesizers. By clicking on the MIDI port here, we can see which ones are routed to be controlled by external controllers. We can also set up our MIDI configuration here. Saving and managing presets is done here under the Arturia menu. Let's check out a few presets in B3V. Today, Sweetwater's Daniel Fisher, Director of Product Optimization, will be helping us out by demoing some of the sounds in these synthesizers. B3V with those five effects pedals, all of the controllability of the different parameters, the Leslie, as well as the reverb gives us a wide range of sonic options. Our second new keyboard in V Collection 5 is the Farfisa V, a recreation of the vintage 60s organ. As with the B3V and all of the synthesizers and keyboards in V Collection 5, we have a wide range of sonic capabilities here. Once again, we have five different pedals. We have phaser, analog delay, overdrive, chorus, and flanger. We also have a small amplifier that we can overdrive and use to set up timbral characteristics for the organ. We have a foot controller that allows us to set the volume, and then all the controls on the organ itself. We also have access to a wide range of extended parameters by clicking on the down arrows here. This opens up a new screen that gives us a lot of additional control. Let's check out a few of the presets in Farfisa V. Our third new keyboard in V Collection 5 is Piano V. 
Piano V offers everything from grand pianos to upright pianos. It has a lot of extended features and a user interface that allows you to very efficiently dial in exactly the piano tone that you want. We have control over the piano type, so we have grand pianos, we have upright pianos. We can also control the microphone position. You can see we have four different microphones here. Microphone 1 and microphone 2 are set up as an XY on the body of the piano. And then we have microphone 4 and microphone 3 that are more room mics. Now those change with the different presets, depending on what you're doing. And you can also access those in the mic setup down here. So if we open that up, we can control the level and the pan of the four different microphones. We can set up our reverb. We can choose the type of room that we're in. And we also have master controls, a parametric equalizer here. We can also fine tune the sound of the piano. By clicking here under piano tuning, we have the piano type, the strings, detuning, stretch tuning, we have the dynamic range of the hammers, hardness of the hammers, position of the hammers, and we can also set up our velocity curve so it matches our playing style. This time out we have four effects pedals, a phaser, an overdrive, an analog delay, and a chorus. We have a volume pedal. Depending on the preset, we also have a guitar amplifier that comes into the scene, and we can control additional features by hitting the down arrow. Finally, we have the Synclavier V, a recreation of the original Synclavier that offers FM synthesis, additive synthesis, and lots and lots of control capabilities. In addition to the basic keyboard controls, we can open up an additional panel of controls. This gives us access to a wide variety of parameters, and we can also access what would have been on the screen in an original Synclavier. This gives us access to envelopes, key dynamics, time slices for additive synthesis, mixers, modulation, onboard effects, as well as general settings. I hope you've enjoyed this look at the five new keyboards and synthesizers in V Collection 5 from Arturia. With these five synthesizers, we have a total of 17 different keyboards available. It's a wide-ranging palette of sounds for your arsenal. Thanks for joining me for Sweetwater Soundcheck. I'm Mitch Gallagher.